This is Louis. He's eight years old in standard one at school. He's arrived in hospital extremely sick. He has yellow diarrhea and vomits if he takes anything more than water. Both he and his 38-year-old mother are HIV positive and have been on treatment. Neither of them, however, look in good health. Their history shows several missed opportunities. Seven years ago, when Louis was one year old and still breastfeeding, his mother tested HIV positive. She was put on to treatment, but Louis was not tested. It was not until five years later, when he was six, that Louis was himself given an HIV test, along with his father. Both of them tested positive. Because they were both already showing symptoms, they were started on ART. Louis's mother says that he started to lose weight before initiating ART two years ago and has got progressively worse since then. Unfortunately, she doesn't have his old health passport, so his records only go back a few months. Four months ago, his weight was 15 kilos, with a height of 102 centimetres. This gave him a body mass index almost in the danger zone. He was obviously failing to thrive. On that visit, he was treated for a cough with antibiotics, but the reasons for his failure to thrive were not investigated. On his last visit to collect his ARVs two months ago, he had the same weight. The only comment written in the health passport was no complaint. Louis has now been brought into hospital by his mother with complaints of having yellowish diarrhoea and vomiting, which started four days ago. For the last three days, he's been very weak. This is the first time he's been admitted to hospital. His mother says that he's been taking his ARVs, but there's no record to check adherence. Louis is severely malnourished and wasted. His upper arm measurement is only 9.3 centimetres, which is well into the red. Since his last visit to the health centre less than two months ago, he's lost four kilos. He now weighs only 11 kilos. This now gives him a BMI far off the bottom of the chart. Louis is clearly very weak. He finds it an effort to stand up or to walk. He still has diarrhoea. He has sunken eyes and oral sores at the back of his tongue. But he doesn't have a fever and tests negative for malaria. In fact, he feels very cold. His mother also looks sick and herself weighs only 35 kilos. A chest X-ray, viral load and CD4 count of Louis are ordered, but the blood test results will take some time to come back. No. Louis is diagnosed with severe wasting and gastroenteritis, likely caused by treatment failure or poor adherence. TB also needs to be ruled out. He's admitted to the malnutrition ward and started on antibiotics in a feeding program, pending blood test results. Louis's condition has got worse. His mother says he can still only take very small amounts of food and liquid at a time. Otherwise, he vomits. A heater has been put by his bed to try and keep him warm. He's unable to stand or sit without some support. His body feels cold all over. <laughs> 